All right, let's talk about the neuron now. Remember, um, the neuron has a cell body. There's different names for the cell body. You can call it the soma, S-O-M-A, or the perikaryon. You name perikaryon. Peri meaning around, carryon the nucleus. So this is the area around the nucleus. So it's cell body, soma, or perikaryon. All three of these names are um, talking about the same thing. Inside the cell body or soma here or perikaryon, you've got a nucleus, and then you've also got the uh, little dots inside of the nucleus that are called the nucleoli. Remember when you see these, that means you've got a lot of protein synthesis going on in the uh, particular cell that you're talking about. So you've got the nucleus with the nucleoli, and then you've got endoplasmic reticulum, but over here it looks like you've got candy coating on this endoplasmic reticulum. That's the rough endoplasmic reticulum of the neuron. And in the neuron, we call the rough endoplasmic reticulum Nissl bodies, N-I-S-S-I-L. Um, this is, means you've got a lot of protein synthesis going on here. And so you've got protein fibers all over this cell. Like you can see some of them here, these little long stringy things here. Those are what we would call neurofibrils. Um, and they provide structure for the axon and dif different parts of the cell. Um, but you just got a lot of protein. Some of the um, neurotransmitters that you made or make, make, some of the neurotransmitters that you make are made out of protein. So you've got a lot of needs for proteins in the cell. All right, you've got two different types of fibers coming off of this cell body or soma. You've got these little um, fibers here, that, and they've all been cut off, so they would keep having extensions here, like this one right here. These are dendrites, so all of these are dendrites, which means they're carrying information toward the cell body, so they're going to be bringing sensory information to the cell body. Then you have one long fiber here, and that's your axon. Um, and notice that there's this little swollen area right here of the axon, that's called the axon hillock. That's the most reactive area of the neuron. Um, so this is where most of your action potentials are going to begin, right here at the axon hillock. Um, the axon is going to be carrying information away from the cell body, so it's going to be going out, and then you'll, this, this axon will come out and it'll open up into, see it's kind of following along here, and then it opens up into your terminal buttons or terminal knobs that are full of neurotransmitters. So this is like the uh, axon is actually um, synapsing with a muscle cell here, and that's kind of showing that like that. All right, then you have these big yellow things here, and these are Schwann cells. In the peripheral nervous system, the Schwann cell is what does the myelinating or insulating of these axon fibers. So each one of these yellow things is one Schwann cell, but what happens is that Schwann cell will kind of flatten out its uh, membrane, and then it'll come in here and it'll start wrapping around this axon. So if you take this off and you look at it, you can actually see where the, the, the fibers have wrapped around this axon. And so this is what you would refer to as your myelin sheath. This would be the Schwann cell, then where it's wrapped around like this, that's your myelin sheath. And remember that's that lipoprotein sheath that insulates the axon and helps the uh, action potential go quicker down the axon. In between the axons, I mean, excuse me, the Schwann cells, you have a gap here. That's known as your node of Ranvier. And when the action potential is coming down myelinated fibers, instead of going all the way through the axon, it's going to jump from node to node, and so that speeds up the um, time of uh, transmission. Also, notice on the Schwann cell, you, you, you flatten that uh, cell out and you kind of doing like a tube of toothpaste where you push all the toothpaste up to one area, well then you get stuck with all this toothpaste, or in this case it would be the uh, cytoplasm and the nucleus of the cell itself, and this would be more the uh, flattened out area that gets wrapped around here. This is what we're going to refer to as the neurolemma of the cell, okay? And then you can see your axon in here, and you can see the neurofibrils inside the axon as well. Um, remember that this is going to open up, this, this axon will come and it'll spread out into terminal buttons or terminal fibers that are going to synapse with something else. Well, if you look at those, these little Hershey's Kissies looking things, 
those would be the terminal fibers of other axons coming in here and synapsing with this cell body. So when the axon uh, or terminal fiber comes in and it synapses on the cell body itself, you call that an axosomatic synapse. If the axon synapses on a dendrite, like with this one, you would call this an axodendritic synapse. Um, and that's really about all you need to know on the cell, the neuron.